Hi guys and welcome back to iClone 3D where we discuss tips, tricks and tutorials for the latest animation softwares and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on bell notifications for all our future tutorials. You can also follow me on Instagram at iClone3D and you can also get in touch for any requests, any work opportunities or just for a friendly chat. If you'd like to donate to the channel, you can use my PayPal email below and any donations are greatly appreciated. Now, without further ado, let's crack on with the tutorial. So today we're gonna to be looking at how we can get some amazing Pixar slash Disney style renders off that look straight out of the cinema. And you know, it's very easy to do and it, you know, it takes a few seconds. So we're gonna look at exactly how to do that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show some side-by-side -side comparisons um, with the IRA preview render versus the actual IRA render when you actually render it off. So we're gonna see the difference in quality with that too. And we're gonna see some amazing results here, guys. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is firstly, get your character um, in Character Creator 4, and we're just gonna send her straight over to iClone. So we're just gonna hit the little button up here and that will send your character straight into iClone. As you can see, it's loading up here now. And when that's in, what we're gonna basically be looking at today is how to use Light Studio. Now I'm gonna show you the massive difference in all of these. So when we've got our character positioned, I'm just gonna go into my content tab here. And uh, firstly, what I'm gonna do is show you, usually I use scene and effects. So I've done a couple of tutorials looking at scene and effects and you know some of the amazing lighting results you get when you put that on. And you know, really mind blowing, really phenomenal. Uh, what we're gonna be looking at today is completely different. So we're gonna be looking at the light studio. Now, what you're gonna see off the back is the minute I put one of these effects on, you're gonna see the image doesn't look as good and look as clean as that. Now, there you go. We can see it looks quite overexposed. The skin tones don't look even. They don't look balanced, etc. And you know, the more we put on, you'll just see, um, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't really enhance the image or, you know, make it look usable. Uh, maybe this one does, but what you're gonna see is this is actually designed to be used specifically with the IRA render. Now, you're gonna see the results we get in a second are phenomenal. So I'm just gonna try this one here, Morning Light, for example. Then I'm just gonna hit Preview uh, on my IRA render, and we're gonna really see now that the results we're getting back here are just straight out of a Disney movie and, you know, just look really, really incredible. So I'm just gonna go to my IRA render and I'm gonna turn on my denoise and, you know, we're gonna see even better results now, guys. So you can see, you know, that quick, that easy, we can get phenomenal, phenomenal results using the Light Studio. Now this is only one preset. I'm gonna try another one here. So I'll just double click that. Um, that will then place that on. And, you know, we'll just see in comparisons to the actual image here. And you can just see guys, you know, amazing, amazing results. I'm mind blown every time I see this, you know, it really does look like it's straight out of a Pixar film or, you know, straight out of a Disney cartoon. It looks nothing less than mind blowing. So, um, you know, we've got loads of fantastic ones here that you can play around with, but I'm not gonna get too into detail with these ones. What I am gonna show you next is how we can use the IBL and um, image-based lighting to get some phenomenal results with real light generated from a picture. So if I just go over here to my cave wall, I'm gonna double click on that one. And that's now gonna place an image in the background as you can see here. And our light source is being taken directly from this image. Now you can see again, you know, Every time I see it, it really does blow me away. It looks like something out of a cinema film. But this is how you can get these really incredible Pixar style renders, you know, with the click of a button, guys, because you're seeing I'm not doing too much. I'm just placing my model and, um, you know, I'm clicking on the presets in the light studio and you're getting some incredible, incredible results. And this is just at 1000 iterations. So you can imagine if we crank that up, you know, the results are gonna even be more breathtaking. So. What I'm gonna show you now is how we can actually, um, you know, add more light sources. Um, or not add, we're gonna actually turn up the lights that are already there just to get different results. So to do that, we're just gonna go into our scene tab here. And here we can see the spotlight that's been placed in the scene. Uh, we've got our sky, we're not gonna mess around with that. So we're just gonna mess around with the spotlight here. And all we're gonna do is click on it and then we're gonna come here in our modify tab and we're gonna adjust it using the modify tab here. So I'm just gonna 
drop that over there so we can see both of our images. And what we're going to do is we're just going to multiply and just add a little bit more light and just see what that does to our image over here. Now you can see how that's made that pop even more and you know it looks even more appealing for the eye. Uh, so you can again you can do multiple adjustments in this section here. Uh, we can actually increase the range so how much of that light spills off onto the model. Um, if we increase that you can see it starts to look a bit like you know maybe a campfire a bit sunlighty not really the effect that we want to go for if we're representing a cave. Now, of course, you can take the background away um, and we can just see now we've got this wonderful image here and, you know, really, really incredible. So that's literally how we can then start to, you know, adjust the different light settings and play with the angle and the fall off. And you, you'll just see different results each time, um, you know, that angling more shadow here across the face. And, you know, we can just tweak and play around with that. Uh, but that's going to really kind of do that section and really just looking at how to get the best renders, those Pixar kind of style, um, you know, Disney kind of cartoon films. It just looks absolutely incredible, guys. And, you know, it takes a second or two to do. We're going to look now at how we can add... Um, you know, we can change our IBL source just to get varied results. So if we click in our visual tab here, you can see in the active IBL, we've got the background that we have here, which is the cave. And you can see those cave walls here in the back and onto our the right of our model here. So that's basically the image we have there. And we can again strengthen it here to again increase more light instead of playing with the spotlight. And you can see we get, you know, different results and um, you know it kind of reflects more of the natural light in the image so it's not using the spotlight light but it's actually using the IBL and it's increasing that light for us as you can see um, each time making her a lot more brighter and you can see it doesn't look so much like you know it's a sun touching her skin or the sun you know in the background or the foreground but you can actually see it more represents the natural light coming from the cave and we can crank it up a lot more as we have done and it won't kind of look odd and it just looks natural and realistic and you know really does suit the scene um, so what we can do now is we can actually change this IBO light here and we can get a completely different effect so I'm just going to use this one here our HDRI skies and um I'll double click that and we'll see now we're going to get a completely different effect, a completely different look in our IRA render, but still we're going to get some phenomenal Pixar style, Disney style animation renders that look phenomenal. So as we can see here, the lights change. That will just take a second to show up here. Um, but when it does, you'll see now we've got a completely different look. Now that just looks phenomenal, guys. I don't know about you or if you know if you can see what I'm seeing, but it really does look absolutely incredible. So we've looked at how to, you know, IRA render and get the most insane, insane results using the Light Studio. And um, again, I'm just going to come back here and I'm just going to just quickly just so you know anyone that's interested I'm, and that's watching I'm just going to show you the difference with using the scene and effects so I'm going to try and keep the background in and just change the light source so if I go down here um, and maybe we'll go for a bright average here but what when I click this we're going to see you know the different results we get here so take a good look at that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click onto this and you're just going to see the difference it makes with this render because, um, you know, if we look at it now, you know, you can see that a lot different. It's not really, um, you know, getting the skin textures or the hair textures, how it was. Um, it makes the world of difference using Light Studio because it's actually set up to really balance well with the IRA render and, you know, get you the best light bounces off of your models. So you can, you know, already you can see here, you know, major, major difference. If I just go back and undo that, um, you know, immediately you can see, you know, the difference in the skin tones, the textures, you can see they look much more refined. They look much more realistic. Um, the way the light bounces off the model looks a lot more realistic. It looks a lot more richer in tone and texture. And, you know, it's just, you know, a lot more incredible. Um, so that's exactly how we can use, um, you know, these light studio settings to get some incredible, incredible results. And I'll just try one more very quickly. Um, I'm just going to go down here and um, just try... 
and we'll just try this one here in the desert. So I'll just double click that. And we're going to really see, you know, some amazing results. So there we have it, guys. Um, you know, you can see this just looks incredible. You know, you can see, uh, you know, I can't explain it, but when I look at it, it just looks completely, completely incredible. And it just reminds me of a Pixar film. So I'm going to go to my scene tab. And in fact, I'm going to go to my visual tab and we're just going to crank up the strength a little bit. So there we can see I'm cranking the strength up and you know make her pop a little bit more but you can see here she looks really overexposed as you can see but in our ira render she just comes out beautifully and just looks amazing and you know really incredible so don't worry about if it's overexposed here this is literally only for ira render and this is how you get pixar style renders at the click of a button you know in seconds without any issues and you know you can really blow people away with this so um, i'll just crank up a little bit more just to see the varied results that we can get so now you can see she's completely blown out here and you know in our area render not affected at all it's just increased the light on her and just makes it look like you know um, a natural sunlight bouncing off her face maybe a little bit overcompensated but nonetheless, it looks phenomenal. And, um, you know, you can really see how this light studio is going to get you getting some amazing, amazing renders for your clients, for your friends, for your family to see um, and, you know, for the world to see. So um, really hope uh, the tutorial is helping. So I'll just try one more just before we wrap it up. Um, I'm just going to go into my content again and um, we'll just try this one in the hotel room. Uh, just to see how that looks uh, but remember guys it's a light studio that's what you're going to want to use um, not the scene and effects even though you'll get some really quality looks um, you know the light studio is really the way that you're going to use um, IBL lights and just get that real natural look and you know them real quality renders so you can see here the hotel room looks amazing and that really does kind of conclude the tutorial now before we end what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put up the side by side images and uh, we're going to look at the difference uh, between an IRA render and a normal, a normal iClone render in 4K uh, JPEG format. And as you can see, guys, the difference is just miles and miles apart. Um, it looks incredible. Um, you know, the IRA render just really blows it out of the water, as you can see. So really hope that helps, guys. And um, really hope it helps you go away and get massively creative and make some really awesome, awesome animations and even more awesome renders. Uh, until next time, that'll do it. Hope to see you again soon for another tutorial. <laughs>